Dr. Eric here, talking to you about male anatomy. What's where and what it's for. Much of the male reproductive system is external, making it very easy to identify. So if you're a male, you should be able to follow along easily. If you're not male, but are curious about the male body, this video will still be informative for you. I'm gonna put up a diagram and take us through it. Starting off is the penis. The penis serves two main roles. It allows for the passage of urine to drain the bladder and also passage of semen for reproduction. When stimulated, the penis fills with blood and becomes erect. This is for sexual penetration during sex. The head of the penis, called the glands, is particularly sensitive. Men are born with a skin cover over the head of the penis. In some men, this skin is removed in what is called a circumcision. The skin, which is called the prepuce or the foreskin, is very sensitive and contains glands that create a natural lubricant. The urethra is the tube inside of the penis through which urine and semen pass. Its exit is the hole at the tip of the penis called the urethral meatus. Below the penis is the scrotum, the skin sac that contains the testicles. The testicles create sperm cells and testosterone, an important male hormone. Sperm are the cells that travel from the man into the woman to fertilize the egg and create a pregnancy. Behind the testicles is a structure called the epididymis. This tube is where sperm are stored and mature as they go from inactive sperm to sperm ready to fertilize an egg. From the epididymis, the sperm then travel up the vas deferens to the junction of the seminal vesicles and the prostate. The vas deferens are the structures that can be severed for a vasectomy. The seminal vesicles make most of the fluid in semen. The prostate also creates some of this fluid. The prostate and seminal vesicles are completely on the inside of the body. The prostate, though, can be felt with a finger in the rectum. It is often called the male G-spot and is stimulated during receptive anal sex in men. Women do not have prostates. I hope that you've learned something about your body in this video. To stay up to date on sexual health issues, please click the subscribe button below and as always, if there's any interesting topics you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comments section.